Hi, okay, this is a um, little mini lesson on Unit 5, Lesson 3, Completing the Square, page 452, number 10. Again, <clears throat> do not, these are meant to be used as a primary source for understanding the material. This is meant to assist you after you've uh, looked at all the online material, read through the, the textbook, looked at the example, in, examples, and even tried to do some of the problems. So this is if you're a little bit stuck and you're quite not sure. So use this as supplemental, okay? Um, but I do want to, you know, kind of put a little caveat in there. This lesson, Completing the Square, is a little bit challenging. So um, I think you will find, uh, find the, uh, what I'm going to do here right now helpful. This is page 452, number 10, and uh, the directions state, transform the equation into a perfect square equation and solve. So if you uh, remember on page 450, they gave you in a little yellow box, they, there's a, um, information on it, how to use completing this square to solve a quadratic equation. So that's basically what I'm working off of here. That's what you should be working off of too. Let's take a look. And the thing is, is what it says, the first step is to get the equation that you're working with, get it into this form of x squared plus bx plus equals c. And the thing that you need to notice here is that the coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay, remember, if you don't see anything, it's 1. So they're saying, hey, we've got to get the equation, whatever equation you're working on, to a spot, to a point where the coefficient of x squared is 1, or whatever, whatever is squared, you know, whatever the quadratic is. You've got to get it, the uh, coefficient to be 1 and, uh, and then get it so that the constant is on the right-hand side of the equal sign. So let's take a look at this. Well, here's the equation. y squared minus 6y equals negative 5. Well, the quadratic has a coefficient of 1 and the constant is on the right-hand side all, all by itself. So we're set up. We don't have to do anything more to this equation. We don't have to. Well, we do have. We will have to do more. But it's 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 set the way we need it to be set. So you didn't have to do any extra work with that. But you need to be aware of of that. Then it says we need to add the quantity b over two squared to both sides. So now you need to d identify b. Well, b is just the coefficient of x in this second term. So you come over here to your original equation and say, well, what is the coefficient of, of you know, uh, of the variable that is to the power of 1? Well, it's negative 6. It's right here. So b equals negative 6. So now we can put that into here, and we can say we're going to be adding um, the quantity negative 6 over 2 squared. Now we can reduce this fraction. Negative 6 <coughs> over 2 is just equal to negative 3. So it's negative 3 squared. And we just we need to add that to both sides. So that'll be pretty straightforward. Say so y squared minus 6y plus negative 3 squared equals negative 3 5 plus negative 3 squared. Now we're set up with a perfect square and this follows the pattern of perfect square. So, you know, basically the work that we're doing here really relies on you having mastered lesson uh, 5.1 and 5.2. If you haven't, then this still might be a struggle for you. But this spot, we have set up a perfect square, and I can't, I can't uh, state strongly enough and, and, and enough times the importance of learning all the lessons thoroughly because the subsequent lessons are based on all the previous lessons. So, and here's a classic example of this. Now we have to, um, we're, going to we ha we're working with a perfect square, so we're going to have y minus 3 quantity squared. When we factor this equation, that's what we'll get, equals, well, uh, negative 5 plus uh, negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is just 9. Well, let me just write it out. Negative 5 plus negative 3 squared, remember, it's negative 3 times negative 3, and that's equal to positive 9. Negative 5 and a um, plus 
9, let's first rewrite that again, and y minus 3 quantity squared equals negative 5 and a positive 9 is just 4. Now we take the square root of both sides, right? We'll go square root of quantity y minus 3 quantity squared equals, now remember when we take the square root, it's got to be plus or minus the square root of 4. Okay, and we're doing this so that we could, because remember our final equation, our final thing has to be y equals. So we're trying to we're trying to undo everything with the y and get the y isolated by itself. And so we have to undo the square. We have to undo the exponent. How do you undo it? You take the square root. Okay. So now we're going to be left with y minus three equals plus or minus the square root of four is just two. Okay. Then we have we add 3 to both sides, we get y equals 3 plus or minus 2. Uh, 3 plus or minus 2 is, 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 plus 2 is 5. y equals 1 and 5. Now, let's check this puppy and make sure that it gives us the answer we need. We'll take it and put it back into, we'll take the values of y and put it back into the original equation. We have y squared minus 6y equals 5. And when y is 1, we get 1 minus 6 times 1 equals 5. 1 minus 6, whoops, negative 5, I'm sorry, negative 5 equals negative 5. And negative 5 equals negative 5. 1 is a solution. Now we'll put 5 in there. We'll say um, 5 squared minus 6 times 5 equals negative 5. 5 squared is 25. 6 times 5 is 30 equals negative 5. That's really sloppy, sorry. A 25 minus 30 is negative 5 equals negative 5. The check proves accurate. Our answer is correct. y equals 1 and y equals 5. Okay, that is it.